our James Center for Molecular and Life Sciences, and I'm going to show you a little peek inside. <laughs> so this is our James Center for Molecular Life Sciences. As you can see right here, we've got our whole setup in the lobby. This is a really popular place for students to come and study if they don't want to be quiet in the library. Bonus perk, we've also got our Starbucks here, so if you want to grab a quick coffee while studying for group projects, you're more than welcome to. We're going to head right down this hallway right here. The James Center houses a lot of our biology and chemistry classrooms, so we try to um, integrate those classrooms in between each hallway. So. You get a good feel for everything that's happening in here. <laughs> You'll notice that the theme for our James Center is science on display. So a lot of the walls in the classrooms are windows. You can really feel like you're participating in the research here without even being in the classroom. What are you guys gonna do today? Uh, we're doing a dry lab. Um, I didn't read the protocol. So I'm studying <laughs> Alzheimer's disease and these C. elegans worms. We're testing different drugs to see how it slows their neurodegeneration. Um, at Eckerd, our student to faculty ratio is 13 to 1, so you really get the opportunity to develop those relationships with your professors. And given the fact that we are also completely undergraduate, you are never competing for graduate students for those research opportunities. Like Check our friends over here. here. <laughs> What's really cool about those research opportunities is that sometimes they get published, and whether they're unpublished or not, they might end up on this wall. Another really cool research opportunity that we had on campus was one of our professors actually developed a new uh, melon. So our, we have a melon called the Triton Melon, which was really cool because our professor got to work on it and it was uh, tested by a lot of students. So that's one really cool thing we got going for us. Outside of the labs, the James Center is one of my favorite places to come and study because I get to sit down in the lobby, do a lot of group work, and grab a coffee in between. And that's a wrap for our tour of the James Center of Molecular and Life Sciences. I'm going to go grab some Starbucks and I hope to see you around campus soon. <laughs>